Hello, welcome to session 54 of csharp.net training series. In this session, I'm going to explain and practically demonstrate about method hiding in C sharp. So let's get started. So what is method hiding? In the previous session, if you remember, I created a parent class and I also created a child class. In the both parent class and child class, I created the same method, right? In the both the parent class, I created the same method. The child class also, I created the same method. And here, the parent class method is giving the permission to override it by using the virtual keyword, okay? By mentioning the virtual keyword in the, before the method of the parent class, here parent class is stating that this particular method can be overridden by the child class methods, okay? That's what is the permission given. So to actually override, so we have to create the same method in the child class and you have to add this override keyword so that this particular method which is giving the permission to override will actually override. What if I remove this override? Okay, here warning message is coming. Okay, you have to override kind of, you have to mention the keyword that is override to overcome that warning message. What if the parent class, okay, before this method, the virtual keyword is not there. Okay, what if the virtual keyword is not there before this method? That means the parent class is parent class method is not giving the permission to override it. Okay, parent class is not giving the permission to override this method in the child classes. So in that case, if I forcibly try to override, I'm getting an error. You cannot override it, right? Because here the parent class has to give the permission for this particular method to be overridden by the child methods by adding the keyword known as a virtual keyword, but here virtual keyword is not there. But if you still try to override this method, which uh, doesn't have the virtual keyword mentioned here, what will happen? You'll get this kind of error. How to overcome this error? To overcome this error, there's other concept known as we cannot override this. Okay, we cannot override it, but we can add a keyword known as new keyword. Okay, we can add a keyword known as new keyword, which is nothing but method hiding. Okay, here method hiding or method shadowing, whatever you can call. Here, if the parent class method doesn't have the virtual keyword, we cannot override it, right? Even you, even though you specify the override keyword in the child class method, we cannot override it. In that cases, we can method hide it, okay? We can follow other thing known as, instead of method overriding, we are method hiding it, okay? Forcibly kind of creating our own method here, okay? We are hiding and creating our own method, okay? Child class methods are specified with a new keyword to avoid warning, and that is called as method hiding, okay? The virtual keyword is not there here and uh, over, uh, then override will not work here. So what we have to do, we have to add new here, okay? New here, which will method hide it. So remaining all will work in the same fashion, okay? So remaining all will work in the same fashion, guys. Uh, rem rem remove this part. Uh, let me create an object for the, okay, here parent class method is there, child class method is there, okay? Here this child class method is, uh, method hiding the parent class method, okay? Method hiding the parent class method. Now I'll create an object for the, in order to access this child class method sample, what I have to do, I have to create an object for the child class. Class C, CC is equal to new class, class C, okay, that's it. Then CC dot, if I say sample, which method will be called? The child class method will be called. The child class method which is hiding the parent class method will be called now, okay? Here inherited method will not be called. Inherited method from the parent class will not be called. Rather, the child class method which is hiding the inherited parent class method will be called, okay? So run this code. So from the child class, it should print. Insert sample method of class C, class child, okay? What if we want to access this uh, parent class method? The same concept again. We have to create an object for the parent class here, class P, class P. CP I will say, CP dot sample. If I say CP dot sample means, parent class method will be called, this method will be called, inside sample method of class P will be called. You see here, inside sample method of class P will be called, done, okay? Or there is another way by using that uh, base thing, okay? So I'll remove this portion for now. Here I'll create a method, public void calling samples. Okay, other way of calling the parent class method, okay? After implementing this method hiding, if you still want to uh, call this, uh, okay? Call this parent class method. 
using the child class object reference, then what what to do? Okay, it's something I'm going to show you here. Uh, if I say example here, if I call the sample here, child class method only will be called. Okay, the method hiding whatever the method that is hiding the parent class method, this particular hiding method will be called. Okay, simply if you say sample means it will call this method only in the child class. Let me create an object for the child class child C. C C is equal to new child C. Now if I say Okay, so that is actually that is class C guys, not child C, class C. Class C. Now cc dot cc dot uh, calling calling samples. cc dot calling samples. It will call this method and this method will call the child class uh, method hiding method only. Okay. So inside sample method of child class will be called. What if uh, here? This calling samples method, if it doesn't have to call this method, instead it has to call the parent class method, then here we have to add a keyword known as base keyword. Base dot sample we have to say. Okay. Now in this case, what will happen? The parent class method will be called. This is another way of calling the parent class method after implementing the method hiding. You see, parent class method inside sample method of class B, class parent. So this is all about method hiding in C sharp. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to cover another C sharp.net topic for you. Till then, see you. Bye bye.